follow up is a walk with you that will help them to become preserved in the church conserved in the church confirmed in the faith then consistent and then committed members of the church follow up is an important aspect of the great commission it's a vital process in the establishment of the converts in the church and in the expansion of the kingdom of God and if we are going to do this effectively hey, there are some things that follow up will demand number one it will demand conversion what does that mean the conversion of the people that are doing the follow-up themselves because uh, you know we shouldn't take for granted that everybody that claims to actually be a part of the church is converted now these converts are believed and we want to follow up on them if we're going to follow up effectively on them the people that get involved in the follow-up must have christ-like christian conduct and character number three communion with christ if we're going to do the follow-up effectively and there is something the lord is expecting from you from me we should be people who are prayerful and we're in communion constant communion with the lord jesus christ how can the withered or withering branch be able to produce fruit how can we send a dry church member a weary church member and a withered church member a church member that does not have the life of the vine and the life of christ within him is cut off is backsliding is withered how can we tell him to go and follow up another individual number four there'll be concern concern there are people that are rejoicing in their newfound faith and they have gone back home and as they have gone back home you'll be wondering what's happening to them now you are concerned about them it is that concern that actually makes you move on and pursue the growth of those people that need to grow in the Lord. Number five, compassion. As uh, we uh, get around uh, this uh, follow-up, what we need is real compassion. And it is the compassion that makes you pick up your Bible, get out of your house, get out of your comfort zone, and go to those uh, converts and see how they are doing. Number six is consecration consecration if we're going to do the follow-up and do it effectively we need consecration as well Number seven consistency if we're going to actually help these uh, young people these uh, new converts we need to be consistent about it just going once and that's not enough have you been converted for so long you don't remember that when a new convert is has come to the lord and there are some doubts there are some questions and, and there are some misgivings a lot of questions will be in their hearts the joy i have now will it continue ever or will there be ups and downs i'm facing persecution already it's not even one week or two weeks since i gave my life to the lord they are putting the pressure on me if the pressure continues like this will i be able to stand will i be able to make it at last a lot of questions in their minds and the reason why we do follow up is reach them immediately get to them immediately touch their lives immediately and see how to resolve those doubts we're doing the follow-up because of number one assurance of salvation assurance of salvation number two because of affection for the savior and we want them to get uh, to get real love affection for the savior number three affiliation with the church we want them to be affiliated with the church so that by the grace of god the fellowship of the church the cement of love the glue of love in the church will be able to tie them and glue them and pin them down they'll be grounded in the love of god number four assimilation of the scripture and they need not to be reading the scriptures assimilating the scriptures taking the scriptures in number five association with saints association with the people that by the grace of god they are passed through those initial stage of the christian life and the lord has not made them steady and they are saints in the lord and they need association or the saints in the church so that they can be well grounded in the watch of the lord and in this experience that they have got number six avoidance of past sins we need to get them quickly and we need to get to them very quickly and tell them I, that they need to avoid all the past sins because if they go back to them the latter end will be worse than the beginning then number seven alienation from sinners we need to tell them come out from among them be separate says the lord we need to tell them alienation from sinners number eight activity is soul winning that 
even now as they have just come to know the lord is when they should reach out and begin to also win souls to the lord as well number nine attachment to the shepherd attachment to the shepherd and that's what we're doing in follow-up well when we go to do follow-up it's not just a you know random thing or just rambling or just talking or whatever we're doing something very very definite if we do this thing as the lord wants us to do uh, this thing is there any reward oh yes a great great reward the Lord will reward every one of us in Jesus' name. In John chapter 4, John chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 34. John chapter 4, verse 34, Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh the harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes. And look unto the look on the fields, for they are ready, they are white or ready to harvest. And he that trippeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal. That both he that soweth and he that trippeth may rejoice together. I pray that you will rejoice as God continues to reward you in Jesus' name. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless the work of your hand. While you are concerned for these newcomers and you are reaching out to them and touching their lives, the Lord too will be reaching out to you. As we take care of the things that belong to the Lord, the Lord will take care of things belonging to you also. Let's rise up and commit ourselves to the Lord and say, yes, Lord, we're going to do what you want us to do. We have just received a charge from General Hospital.